Well, I just uh, looked on the internet and I saw that this uh, guitar had a Floyd Rose special and that Floyd Rose specials are no good. But uh, I don't know. I think it's totally fine. You can go up a lot and down and flutter and everything you want to do without a problem. And uh, it stays in tune very well. So that's that. If you want, you can upgrade it to a Scheller Lockmeister 7 or a original Floyd Rose. It's not that expensive if you planning to keep the guitar. Uh, the fit and finish is great. It has no flaws that I can see in the paint or anything. Worth mentioning is the fretboard is really, really smooth. It feels like a vintage guitar, not like new Gibsons or new Ibanezes where you can have like a rough surface on the rose, rosewood. This is a really, really smooth looking and feeling fretboard. No sharp fret dance. They are on par with the Ibanez Pro Edge treatment and ESPs. Top of the line series. Um, yeah, so I think it's a really good bang for buck guitar. I put 9 to 62s on this one because I tuned down a half step. And then the regular strings that came on it, I think they might be 9 to 54s or something was a bit too slingery, slinky feeling. Uh, so I put on this and they were great. Great uh, punch and articulation. Let's, uh, we can try some sounds. Here the bridge pickup. One advantage of having this 26 and a half inch scale length compared to 27 is that I think it just sounds better on the thinner strings. On the thicker strings, the lower strings, maybe 27, a tiny bit more punch, but uh, for me it's not worth it because I really want the uh, uh, lead uh, lead tone to be nice and sound like a guitar and not some gent bass synth or something if you know what I mean. Let's try try out the middle position. <laughs> You could use that sound for some leads or something. Absolutely, not for rhythm. Here's the neck pickup. Really full sounding, really, really nice. I enjoy it. I don't know about this tone now. If you would use it, maybe to get this woman tone, whatever you want to call it. Ah, sounds great. Let's see how the tone is for the bridge pickup, if it's something usable. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Just go pick one up at your local music store, preferably. 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 
uh, take the last tuning test. The mega insane uh, whammy board diving. Simulating a lime situation now. And now comes the next track. We hope it's in tune. It is great. I give it a 10 fit finish sound 9. Cause I'm not the biggest fan of EMGs, but the, this set, it works great in this guitar. Uh, what else? Playability, I give it a, a 9. I would give it a 10 if this volume knob was here and not here, because sometimes it gets in the way. Um, so that's it, so I guess. The total score is 9 out of 10, which is really good. Because most guitars are 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or even 10. And some can be up to 11. Have a great evening. Goodbye.